So what about uh, bills in California that have yet to be determined provisions? Does that occur? You know, from time to time, we find in the California legislature bills that still need to be fully completed or written, filled in. Um, so long as those missing provisions are filled in and completed by the time of final passage, then this approach to moving bills along through the process that aren't complete is, is permissible. And occasionally it is used, uh, perhaps when the bill's author hasn't made a final decision about a specific provision or two of the measure. We saw some of these, for example, in the 2022 California legislative session. Uh, one provision said on or before, and then the date was blanked uh, and unspecified, so they hadn't specified the state agency, uh, shall establish criteria and an application process for purposes of designating an area of the coastline as a state surfing reserve. I also saw a bill that said once the application is approved, an, a state agency shall designate an area as a blank and shall indicate that designation in any of its publications or maps that are issued by that agency. Uh, I also saw a bill that had the department in, shall impose a penalty of up to blank dollars on an employer who violates this particular section of the California Labor Code that was being proposed. Now, in most instances, the first policy committee in the House of Origin is likely going to require the author to fill in any of those remaining blanks and have a, a, at least in theory, a finished product for that initial hearing. But sometimes a bill starts traveling and gets through one house of its legislative journey in a semi-complete state. And so some final decisions are made later on in the legislative process, perhaps in the fiscal committee on the floor, or even sometimes over in the second house generally in that first policy committee. 